Have you ever wondered how F-14 and F-15 pilots trained to take down the legendary State Route 71? Well, today we're going to dive into the training strategies they employed to tackle this formidable adversary. To begin, pilots were taught the SR-71's flight characteristics and vulnerabilities through extensive classroom instruction. They learned about its immense speed, the complex engine system, and its reliance on stealthy tactics. Simulator training played a crucial role in preparing F-14 and F-15 pilots for encounters with the State Route 71. They practiced various attack scenarios, refining their strategies to neutralize the SR-71's advantage in speed. One approach involved the use of intercept geometry, positioning themselves in the optimal spot to engage the State Route 71. Pilots were taught to exploit the SR-71's limited field of vision by flying in its blind spots. They practiced flying at high speeds and altitudes to understand the challenges they would face when flying against the State Route 71. Target practice involved honing their missile accuracy to hit a moving target such as the State Route 71. Another critical aspect was developing tactics to counter the SR-71's evasive maneuvers, which could be difficult to predict. Pilots also studied the SR-71's operational patterns, identifying predictable routines to gain a tactical advantage. They constantly reviewed intelligence reports to stay updated on the SR-71's latest modifications and capabilities. Training missions were designed to simulate real-world encounters, integrating radars and other detection systems. In these scenarios, pilots had to learn how to differentiate between various radar signatures and prioritize threats accurately. Collaboration and communication played a vital role in taking down the State Route 71, with pilots learning to work as a team seamlessly. Debriefings after each training mission allowed pilots to analyze their performance and develop better strategies moving forward. They refined their tactics, learning from their mistakes and exploiting any weaknesses they had identified. Challenges arose from the SR-71's ability to quickly change course and altitude, putting the pilot's skills to the test. F-14 and F-15 pilots were trained to approach the State Route 71 from different angles, minimizing its opportunity to evade. These training exercises created an environment where pilots were continuously improving their skills and adapting their strategies. As the SR-71's capabilities continued to evolve, pilots had to stay on top of the latest technology and tactics to effectively counter its advancements. Despite the immense challenge, F-14 and F-15 pilots were trained to approach the State Route 71 with determination and unwavering focus. Through their extensive training and preparation, they were able to face the State Route 71 with confidence and precision. So, next time you marvel at the incredible skills of F-14 and F-15 pilots, remember the intense training they went through to take down the State Route 71.